Hello traders, Rich here and here's a quick but detailed update on Litecoin. As usual, if you guys like video analysis, let me know in the comments or simply leave a like. So let's get started. As per my last picture analysis price was around here, we were waiting for Litecoin to approach this area to look for buy setups, right? And the reason why is because we have the support and we have this trend line which acts as a non-horizontal support. And just like a horizontal support and resistance, trend lines are zones on our charts and not laser lines, right? But we draw it as a laser line uh, just to make the chart cleaner. So Litecoin is now around here, so we will be looking for buy setups. And if we zoom uh, out to daily time frame, we can see that, let me zoom in, that this area was acting as a resistance previously, then price broke it upward with at least two big bullish candles, so it's now acting as support, right? So we're looking for buy setups here, and price is now retesting the support, so resistance, support, and right now we're looking for buy setups, unless, of course, and as I always say, unless the price breaks below this area with at least one big bearish candle right a massive bearish candle just like this one for example or two full small bearish candles like this and this then and only then we can say that this support is now broken turned into a resistance and the movement till our next support would be expected in this case we'll be looking for new bus setups to form around this area but for now let's take it step by step like when sitting around the support so we'll zoom into lower time frames. We'll not buy blindly. We'll always zoom into lower time frames and look for extra confirmation and trigger. That's when we zoom into H1, and we can see that now we have we have this trend line forming, right? It's still forming. It's still an idea. So price can still so can still break it upward without forming a third swing. So now it's only connecting two swings, and for a trend line to be valid, it has to connect at least what three swings, right? So we'll be waiting for a third swing to form around it. And then and only then we will buy Litecoin after a momentum candle close above this area. Let me zoom out. And that's it, right? So we are overall bearish and you don't want to uh, buy a bearish market, right? So we always wait for extra confirmation and trigger. And in this case, it is this one. Unless the price forms a new, a, a new reversal, a new reversal bullish setup around here, then of course we'll buy. But for, for now, as with the current market conditions, we have this, uh, uh, we have this trend line forming. And of course, as I always say, un and until the buy is activated, Litecoin would be overall bullish and can still break the support from daily time frame, as and, and, and uh, sorry, as I mentioned previously. So let's wait and see what happens. Best of luck, and I'll see you on the next one. As we clearly see, Big BNB is overall bullish, making higher highs and higher lows, right? And when we are in an uptrend, we'll be looking for the corrective phase to be about to end to catch what the next impulse movement, right? And the reason why we are looking for bad setups now is because Big BNB is approaching a very strong demand area, and this one is still fresh, means that price didn't uh, fit it yet, which means that the price did, didn't didn't test it previously. Right? So this is a very strong demand area as price made an aggressive movement upward from it. And yes, many traders fail to, to fail to realize that the bigger the impulse, the bigger the corrective, right? So this impulse had this corrective, while this impulse had this big corrective. Why? Because it's a way bigger uh, impulse than this one. So small impulse, more corrective, and so on. Now we have this bigger one. Now we have this uh, uh, deep deep corrective movement and yes so we are still overall bullish and we are still in a corrective phase the momentum is not shifted yet so we are looking for buy setups and we don't just we, we can't really know where, where the corrective movement would, would end it can end here 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 or even go deeper before going up right that's why we don't buy immediately we don't buy blindly we always zoom into lower time frames to, to get that extra confirmation that now the buyers are, are taking over again so now we know where to look for buy setups which would be around this area and the entire base is this one but i drew it as a level to keep the chart clean right so the entire base is where Right is where uh, uh, the, the the price was stuck inside a range before the, this aggressive movement started. So this is the entire base starting from from like 0 0.0035 and 
and 0, 0, 0, 0.0025. Okay, so now let's zoom into our time frames and look for bar setups. If we zoom into H4, we can clearly see that we are currently in a uh, in, in a bearish trend, at a short-term bearish trend, but we can clearly see that the impulse movements are getting uh, flatter, right? So the bearish impulse movements are getting flatter. So let me give you an, an example. Here, here the impulse was very, very aggressive, right? Very steep. Then it went flatter, and now it's and not now it's even flatter, which means that the sellers are uh, the sellers are losing momentum. But that doesn't mean that the buyers are, are not taking over. For the buyers to take over, they have to break above the, the previous high. And we clearly see that this one is still making lower highs and lower lows, right? So from Max Structure 101, for the bulls to take over, they have to break above this last high now. Or if price forms in a new high, then this would be the last high. So if price breaks it upward, then we can say that now, yes, the, the, the buyers are taking over. So let me do these ones and zoom into H1. Now on H1, we can see that here we go. We, we, we were waiting for a momentum candle close above this high, which didn't happen. So we are still overall bearish, right? And if we zoom out, we can see that here we go. So uh, steep impulse, flatter impulse, and this entire uh, and even flatter that I showed you on H4 is this entire uh, entire descending channel. Let me remove the drawings again. Here we go. So as mentioned previously that on H4 we are waiting for a new high to form, which would be this new high that we are waiting to form around our, uh, as you can see, around our upper red trend line. Then, then we can say that now this, this is this is our, our trigger swing, and we will enter by when when, of course when this is formed, first of all, and then after a momentum candle close above it, and this is this would be our new trigger now. That's it, right? So we have a demand, we have a we have a falling a channel, and and since the sellers are getting weaker and price is approaching a very strong demand area while looking for buy setups and the price can still break it downward right and continue to trade downward but since we are around the rejection area and we are overall bullish from a long term perspective we are looking for buy setups to catch the, the next impulse movement so yes basically that's it for big bnb best of luck and i'll see you on the next one Just before we continue, I want to share the good news. I recently had a deal with Primax TV for you guys to benefit from discounts and bonuses. When you create an account, simply go here, promo code, and copy and paste this one. I also included in the description below. And you will get a 50% uh, bonus on your first deposit, or signal is 25, and you will get 25% discount on your trading fees. Moreover, they do have a very interesting feature, which is called Convesting, where you can copy other traders. So for example, you like this one who has very good results and daily profits, simply click on follow and, and you will copy every single trade that he takes. If you don't have an account yet, I will make sure to include the link uh, in the description below. And let's continue. As for my last video analysis, we are looking for buy setups here. Since we have this demand zone, as price made an aggressive movement upward from it, and we also have this 0 0.5 round number, which is a very strong round number, which is also the 50% retracement of this big impulse movement from 0 to 1. So that's the half, which is 0 0.5. So long story short, we are looking for buy setups now catch what the next impulse movement since we are overall bullish uh, from a long-term perspective and we are currently in the corrective phase that's why we are looking for buy setups and of course around a strong re rejection area as, uh, as as i already mentioned so we are looking for buy setups to catch the next impulse but we don't buy blindly we want the buyers to prove that they are taking over again and now we got an early alert that the buyers may step in any time now because of this corrective movement. So we are now overall bearish from a short term perspective, right? As mentioned previously. So impulse, so which is the overall trend up, and now corrective phase. So we are overall bearish from a medium term or short term perspective. But we know that 
the sellers are losing momentum. How and why? Because we can clearly see that the impulse movements that were pushing price downwards are uh, they are getting flatter, right? So we, we've got a very steep impulse, a less steep impulse, and an even flatter and flatter impulse movement, which means, which give us an early alert that a potential reversal might happen. But of course, we will not buy immediately always wait for extra confirmation and trigger so now that we know where we are in the market from a higher time frame and what to look for now we zoom into lower time frames to look for buy setups because as as always uh, the price can still break this area downward and then a movement to our next demand zone which is 0 0.25 which is still fresh as mentioned in, the, in my previous video which is even a stronger area so if this happens we'll be looking for budget ups and of course with a cheaper uh, price so that's it so for now we're looking for budget ups and as for my last video analysis we're waiting for a new swing high to form around our upper red trend line to consider it valid and to consider of course our trigger swing and then and only then we will buy after a momentum candle close above it so that's that's our confirmation to what to to jump in and that's exactly what happened so now our upper trend line is valid and our trigger uh, and, and our trigger is now ready however we are still waiting for this momentum candle close above it. So let's do this one and let's update this one to be here. And we also have, if we zoom in, that now price form a channel, right? One, two, three. So it's an objective trend line and we can even make an offset. So we have a channel. However, l l let's not enter uh, on, on this uh, uh, high break, let's wait for this one for, for extra for extra confirmation. That's it, and I'll see you on the next one. Best of luck. As we can see, this one has been overall bullish for a while, making higher highs and higher lows. So big impulse, more flat corrective, big impulse, more corrective, and so on. And we are currently in the corrective phase, and when we are in a bullish trend, we're waiting for the corrective to be about to end, to what to catch the ne next impulse movement. But we can't really know from where the impulse would start, from here, here, or even a deeper corrective. That's why we always, that's why we don't buy blindly. We always wait for extra confirmation and trigger. And the reason why we are looking for buy setups here is because we have this uh, this key rejection area, which is a demand zone, because price made an aggressive movement upward from it, and we and we also have one here. So uh, this one is a drop base rally, and this one is a rally base drop. And anyway, we have a demand here and a demand here. So starting from this green area, we'll be looking for buy setups, and I insist on the word looking we don't buy blindly because we want the buyers to prove that, th that they are taking over again because currently we are in a bearish trend and yes even from a short-term perspective because we are overall bullish and we are currently in, in the corrective phase so that's why we always zoom into lower time frames to, to get that to get that extra confirmation that's when we zoom into h1 and yes we, we had an opportunity here last week let me zoom in and 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 obviously as per my last video analysis we we're waiting for a third swing to form around our upper red trend line to consider it valid and then we will enter by after a momentum candle close below it and as you can see which didn't happen so this setup is no long no longer valid let me delete it and let's make a quick update let's if we zoom out we can see that we can draw a new trend line now starting from here that are around here right let me zoom in and, and i'll show you the exact trend line so here we go from here or even starting from here because this is the entire swing and of course we'll make this one a little bit lower to to to, to touch the trend line let's do it let me zoom out and catch this trend line that's it so one two and three and of course if if the price now forms uh, forms a new swing here then and of course we will, we will adjust our trigger swing but for now the trigger swing is around here let's draw a, a gray box as usual for our trigger swing and let me zoom out so that you, you can see the, the the whole picture that's it 
and of course you will see me doing something like this for our for our trigger and that's it so for now we'll be waiting for a momentum candle close above this area to 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 confirm that the impulse movement is, uh, is, uh, is now uh, is now about to start and of course if a new swing high as mentioned previously forms here then we, then we will adjust our our trigger swing uh, to be around here but for now as for the current market conditions we, we will be waiting for a momentum candle close about this area and of course meanwhile and as usual until the buy is activated matic would be overall batch and can still break below this demand area and in this case we'll be looking for new buy setups to form around this lower demand area that's it best of luck and i'll see you on the next one we can even make like a channel here and yes basically that's it see you